Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the science fiction film Soldier. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. A group of orphaned babies are chosen in 1996 as part of a new military training program and raised as highly disciplined warriors with no knowledge of anything outside of military routine. Anyone deemed to be physically or psychologically worthless is put to death since they have been educated to be ruthless experts. The survivors are transformed into supreme fighting machines, but they are illiterate. Sergeant Todd 3465 is one of the original 1996 newborns and a seasoned veteran in 2036, but his unit is about to be replaced by a better one, with the possibility that the original unit will be deactivated. The original project's commander, Colonel McCum, reveals a new batch of genetically modified warriors with superior physical characteristics and no emotion other than utter anger. Todd's unit's leader, Captain Church, insists on comparing the new recruit's skills to his own. Todd gouges out Kane's eye before falling from a high height. The body of a dead soldier cushions his fall, and he is knocked unconscious. One new soldier, Kane 607, effortlessly overcomes three of the original soldiers. The surviving senior warriors are reassigned to menial support positions while Macum orders their bodies to be disposed of like waste, declaring them to be obsolete. Todd stumbles toward a colony whose people crash landed there years previously after being dumped on Arcadia 234. A trash disposal planet. No rescue attempts have been made because it was thought they were dead. Todd is protected by Mace and Sandra, his wife. Todd struggles to integrate with the community despite their best efforts because of his extreme training and their conflict-free lifestyle. While Nathan, their mute son who was scarred by a snake bite as a newborn, and Todd grow close in silence, Todd soon starts to have memories from his time as a soldier and misidentifies one of the colonists as an enemy, almost murdering him. To make matters worse, Todd makes Nathan fight a snake that is coiling around itself in order to defend himself later on. The lesson is not well received by his parents, who are unclear of how to handle Todd. The colonists eject Todd from the group out of fear. Todd is overtaken with sorrow and cries for the first time, showing signs of experiencing significant emotion for the first time. A little while later, as Sandra and Mace are sleeping, they come dangerously close to being bitten by a snake. However, Nathan utilizes Todd's method to save them. They try to reintegrate Todd into the community after realizing the importance of Todd's lesson, but the others object. Since the garbage planet is supposed to be uninhabited, Colonel McCum intends to use the colonists' community as the target in a training exercise when the new genetically altered warriors arrive there. Immediately as Mace locates Todd, the troops see him and kill him. Todd's years of combat experience and superior familiarity with the planet enable him to return to the colony and eliminate the advance squad despite being outnumbered and outgunned. Colonel Macum issues the order for the soldiers to leave and come back with heavy artillery because he is concerned that they may be facing an unidentified enemy force. Todd outwits and outlasts every last soldier, including Kane 607, who he decimates in bloody hand-to-hand -hand battle using guerrilla tactics. Macum is in a panic, so he tells Todd's old team, who are on the transfer ship, to set up and activate a portable planet-destroying doomsday bomb. He gives the order to leave the group behind as the ship takes off. Macum shoots Captain Church in the cold blood as he objects. Before they can leave as planned, Todd shows up, and his former allies secretly join him in rejecting the army that abandoned them and take control of the ship. They evacuate the surviving colonists while leaving Macum and his allies on the planet. Macum unintentionally activates the gadget while attempting to disarm it, killing him and his helpers. Just before the shockwave hits, Todd steers the ship from Arcadia in the direction of the colonists' original objective, the Trinity Moons. He takes Nathan in his arms and gestures toward their new location while he scans the cosmos. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.